So this question says, which of the following is equivalent to this expression here, 4x squared plus 6x divided by 4x plus 2? So I love to use the strategy plug in your own number. Anytime I see a variable in the question, right, in this case x, and then I also see that same variable in the answer choices. So the way we use this strategy is we make up a number for x. I like to start with 2. So if I say x equals 2, then the next step is to plug that variable or plug that number into the question. So instead of 4x squared, I'd have 4 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 divided by 4 times 2 plus 2. So when we simplify this, Right, the two squared becomes a four, so four times four is 16, plus six times two is 12, and four times two is eight plus two. Right, so then I have 28 divided by 10, which can be reduced to 14 over five. Okay, so there's my solution when I plug in my own number, my own number two. The third step is then to take that same number that same two value for x and plug it into the answer choices and look for the answer or the correct answer will be the answer that matches the value that you got when you plugged your number into the question. So a is obviously wrong because if I just replace x with 2, 2 does not equal 14, four, 14 uh, fifths. So a is out. B is also immediately out because this is equal to 6 which is also, again, of course, not equal to 14 fifths. Let's try C. Okay, so C would be 2 minus 2 over. We know that 4x plus 2, we know that, you know, from the question, 4x plus 2 ends up being 10. So 2 minus 2 over 10. I'm going to treat this like a 2 over 1 minus 2 over 10. To get a common denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides here, or top and bottom, by 10. So I end up with 20 over 10 minus 2 over 10, which leads to 18 over 10. Now remember, I started off with 28 over 10 here before reducing to 14 over 5. So this is also not right, although we can see we're getting a bit closer. So C is wrong um, because it does not equal, right? This does not equal 14 fifths. So we know that D has to be the right answer, but let's just prove it to you as well. So choice D would be instead of x plus 1, I'd have 2 plus 1 minus 2, again, over 10, because 4x plus 2 is equal to 10 when I plug 2 in for x. And then I'd have, uh, you know, 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 minus 2 over 10. Again, turn this into a fraction. Again, get a common denominator. So I'd have 30 over 10 minus 2 over 10 which is equal to 28 over 10, which should look familiar. And then, of course, we can reduce that to 14 over 5. So that means choice D is the right answer because it, in fact, does equal 14 fifths.